Hi everyone, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden again, coming to you with a chameleon plant update. I put a video up earlier this spring removing the chameleon plant I planted last year, not knowing it was invasive because it was for sale at my local garden center, and realized after reading on the internet that it's incredibly invasive or can be and spreads everywhere. So I wanted to take it out of my front garden patch. People will plant it near ponds, things like that, with muggy water features, and our, our soil is pretty wet. So it would have worked, and I can see why people would use it near a pond, but I don't want it to take over my front garden bed. So here's where we are a few months later. So I just took out my china asters, put the rest of them in a vase. I'm gonna pull up these stems, but you can see there's part of it. There's part of it. Some of the rhizomes that were still underground. There's some more. And there's some more. And there's some more have still spread. So I'm going to shovel these out as well. So I can't find my shovel. So I'm just going to use a manure fork and see if that can do the trick. Now I'm looking for the rhizome so that it doesn't come back because if I cut it off, if there's still some rhizome left, it'll still grow and flourish. So let me show you what I'm seeing here. Okay, I just dug this area. This is my drip irrigation. And you can see they're attached and still going deeper. So I'm gonna try and get, that's just a weed, but I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of these and pull the whole thing up. Okay, we're uprooted a little more here. Let's see if we can find the bottom of this guy and that one there. And that one there. We might have found it. Okay, so I just pulled this guy out of that lump of dirt and I don't see any more of that white root in here. So I'm hoping I got this one. I'm gonna do that with the rest of them too. Labor intensive, yes. Okay, so here's my little trailer full. This is just a petite John Deere uh, little trailer that is on my son's play tractor and I did get some clean cuts I think meaning that I think I got the whole thing of it but as you know with this plant or if you don't there's probably still some in there somewhere but at least we're cleaning up what has come up after I did a bigger removal this fall. What I said earlier labor intensive the second time going in there is definitely not as hard as the first. I had a whole actual adult sized trailer worth the first time, but it's, it's just very particular because you've got to dig and try and find the whole thing. So you can't just dig, dig, dig. You have to dig and then lift up slowly because you don't want to tear this because if you leave some of it in there, it's just going to grow back. So it's a tedious, tedious is a better word for it, a tedious task, but Onto funner things like putting my mom's in. Also, just a reminder, do not throw this in a compost bin or anything like that or in your yard because it'll grow and probably take over everywhere. So you wanna make sure that you're tossing that into the trash can. Okay, that's it for today for cleaning up the chameleon plant round two. I hope your cleanup is going better and that you're getting all of it. Or if it's working for you by a pond or an area that you really wanted to take over, I'm also very happy for you there. So enjoy, we'll see you in the next one, bye.